So my name's Craig. I had the great fortune to meet the training about uh, eight years ago. I was uh, at a festival in England and I was running a roller disco. It's one of the fun things I've had the pleasure to do. Um, and I was very lucky to wake up bleary eyed out of my tent and meet someone who is now a very dear friend. And um, she actually had a wheelbarrow of croissants and coffee. And um, she was like, do you want some coffee? And I don't normally drink coffee, but I like croissants though. And um, I was like, yeah, sure. And um, yeah, we just started chatting and she's like, what do you do? And I'm like, I do this, 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 I do this. I'm trying to do this, I'm working on that. I'm gonna do that, one day I'll do that. And I'm definitely gonna do that. And it was funny. Um, I used to, I, I, I'm an artist, I guess. I never really define myself, but that's what I enjoy doing. And, um, and I also, I guess, I see very much now I would validate my, my being and my success by all the things I did. Anyway, this, this lovely lady was like, okay, that's great, all these things you do. Could I suggest maybe you do this? And um, it was the first time the empowerments had been offered in, uh, in the UK. And uh, it was a very little group. And I didn't really, I hadn't really seen any many talks. I hadn't, didn't really know much about the training, but something in me just knew to go. There wasn't any question, just like this innate knowing that we have when we know we need to do things. There's many tasks we do every day that we don't think about. We just, we just do them, whether it's a drink of water, whether it's going to the bathroom, whether it's eating something, it's just, and I just turned up and um, yeah, I didn't know what I was turning up to, but it was, uh, it was like, it was basically the game changer. This is, I was someone who was very much like on a quest, like to find this holy grail. And one day I'd find this, yeah, this thing that would make sure, that would mean that everything explains itself. But it was great to be shown that I already had that, that, that holy scroll that I was looking for. And um, it still surprises me a lot, like daily that, uh, that everything I was looking for is already present. When I um, when I first I've met Candice a few times, she's I, I use the term I call her sometimes my grandma, not out of any disrespect or anything like that. But my grandparents passed away that when I was young, and I'm very grateful to have someone in my life who's just got some more experience and can guide me through life. And uh, yeah, Candice is amazing. She's super cool, very funny, very. Uh, and she's opened up my view of the world in a way that that, um, that despite all my efforting and fighting and trying, I, I I just know for me in my in my life I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got to. And I'll never forget she said to me, if uh, if you the seeker and what you seek emanate from the same space of natural perfection, then what are you looking for? And she basically got my entire reality and just went, <laughs> and I was like. <gasps> I was like, no, but like, surely I've got to find something, and <laughs> and I and that was that. That was done. Finish S searching over. There we go. That was easy. Um, would have been nice to have had that on the first day of primary school or stuff like that. Um, incidentally, I'm very grateful that we have participants here that have children that are growing up in this in this environment because they will they naturally will have an outlook and they do have an outlook on life, which is like something that no one really has ever had the opportunity to have. And I'm, I feel very proud to see the parents and to see how in Bristol, where I live, uh, there's a whole community that live together in this amazing self-built house. It's just like a, a magical castle, really, full of, uh, yeah, gatherings. And we do the, we have teachings there and yeah, pitched in a city environment, you know, it's just very normal and it's amazing to see these hubs just very naturally emerged like here in Goa. And there's also an amazing center in Sweden where I spend, uh, I spend lots of time there. It's a very beautiful place. If you get the chance, I would definitely check it out because it's, um, it's really powerful in this environment because I've been in different communities and stuff. And something which still holds firm is that I've never seen anyone like fully kick off at someone. And it's a very simple thing, you know, like there's nothing wrong with feeling the, discontent or like oh they're wrong I'm right I hate them and da, da 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 but it's very powerful when people can just own that take responsibility of it and carry on and that's what I've seen in in this environment for many many years and uh, that for me is like that's where world peace is directly at how can you save the world if you can't get on with your younger brother you know and I was very much very much keen to try and save the world because I felt it needs saving and to some extent it's clear that something needs to come about but how could it come about from those people and those people if it can't come about from here? So, yeah, and all this is, all this, everything I'm sharing with you, I know that was inherently somewhere in there, but it took the empowerments and to be surrounded by all of you to, to, 
to to really see that in my experience. It's great. I've got my my younger brothers actually here, and we came together on a scooter today. And like, if that had been like eight years ago, we'd have been like hitting each other all the way. And like, so it's like, and it's just a simple thing, you know, like, and. Uh, and it's the same with my parents. I had a good relationship with my parents. I wouldn't say there was anything. Oh, I've, I've had a good life. Well, I have a good life. Life's amazing. But, um, to, um, but now it's like I don't try and make my dad a certain way. He has very different beliefs to me in some areas. And I've seen by allowing him to have them, he then is much more empowered to allow me to be as I am. And it's just a very subtle experiment I've seen directly in my life. And that's the cool thing with short moments. If you know, if you happen to meet someone today or in the next week or month or year that's just like, ah, and they're just overwhelmed with data or just they've had something full on, it's amazing just to face them and just take short moments yourself. And often I've seen them uncoil themselves and relax or come up with a solution or it's really like quite amazing. We've got, um, well, I think of short moments, it's quite a funny one. We've got this kitten that we've, we're have we looking after at the moment. He was found in one of the fields blind and very sick and uh, that was during empowerment eight, uh, during the empowerments and two participants found him and have nursed him back to health and then me and my partner are also nursing him back to health now. It's funny, I've got to give him his medicine and um, he's not really keen on it but we've, I've seen that when you grab him on the back of the neck he just totally freezes like this and he's just like there like and then you put him down and start meowing and running about again you can do it again and he's frozen. <laughs> and it's just, and it really is like uh, funny, we were laughing this morning, it's such a good analogy for short moments because <laughs> Because it sounds like a weird thing. I was like, you want me to take a short moment where, with whom, how, you know? And it's, it's funny just to like, you know, and there it is. It's, it's that simple and it's, um, yeah, it's even now after this long in the training, I still feel like a beginner and I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy with that. But it's, um, it's great to know that I have such a foundation in how anything can come up. I could tell you, I could talk about near-death experience. I could talk about many things. I could talk about extreme physical pain. I, for three years, I had trouble almost walking because I'd been in a bad accident. And, and again, there were all these possible ways I could have searched for a solution, but just showing up here and, uh, and allowing myself to be as I am was the, was the greatest solution. And um, to anyone new to the, this is their first time here or new to it, just, just show up and check it out and you're soon... There's something within you that will soon know uh, whether you want to keep showing up or not. And I've shown up for eight years and it was the best move I've ever made. So, um, yeah, thanks to all of you that keep showing up and thanks to everyone here today. It means a lot to me. It's, it's powerful to come together and just be the peace that we want to see on this planet. So, yeah, thank you very much.